Hey, I used to live out there myself. San Fernando Valley. After taking a wrong turn on the motorway, a young couple decides to stop at a roadside diner for food and relaxation. Their fun trip soon becomes a fight for survival when mass kidnappers imprison them on a farm where humans are the main course. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Movie Time. Today we're covering a movie recap about the 2018 horror movie, The Farm. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Movie Time if you like the recap. So let's begin. The two characters mistakenly follow the advice of a gas station clerk to stop at a friend's cabin for an overnight rest, and after this, they face enormous dread. The director has created an interesting take on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or the Hills Have Eyes formula in regard to the fact that cannibalistic families are quarreling humans as livestock but are separating them by intimacy to use for specific purposes. There are also some great aesthetic choices regarding cinematography and a washed out color palette, as well as the creepy decision to grab an antagonist in Animal Masquerade, and long, dialogueless scenes that let the visuals do the talking, which adds to the sense of alienation our heroes feel. In the start of the movie, we see a Los Angeles couple, Nora and Alec, who find themselves lost while driving through the countryside. There, they cross a way station and pull over. However, they find it closed. Nora, wanting to find a bathroom, goes to check the back and finds the remains of a camp where she finds a discarded wallet and cell phone. Tossing the items aside, she relieves herself only a couple of feet away where a human skull is seen hidden in the tall grass. After returning to the car, Nora talks to Alec about the abandoned camp behind the way station, noting that things were left behind. Alec isn't too worried about the discovery, as he is more concerned that the car is running low on gas. That's when they see an old lady standing next to the road. Her car seems to be broken, and Alec tries to get it started using jumper cables. The woman looks at Nora and asks about her ring. After that, she starts going on about how people like Nora are irresponsible and incompetent. The lady clearly has some problems, so the couple leaves her there. Nora is already fed up with the countryside and the people there. Meanwhile, Alec is looking for a gas station when he sees another restaurant that seems to be open for customers. They decide to stop for some food and coffee. The restaurant is packed and the couple orders coffee and burgers. Then there's a waitress who seems like a nice lady, but a weird guy is sitting at the counter. He keeps staring at the couple and they finally decide to leave. As they're leaving, the creepy man gets in Nora's face and tells her that she is not safe. The couple leaves, but they are both on edge at this point. Alec is tired from all this driving, and they still have a long way to go. That's when he stops at a gas station on the side of the road. There, he's filling up the tank while Nora goes inside the station where a strange man named Andrew is working at the counter. Alec asks Andrew if there's a good motel nearby. Andrew chuckles and tells them about some cabins there along the road near the mountains. The couple pays for gas and leaves. Alec wants to stop at the cabins because he's tired and doesn't want to fall asleep driving. However, Nora is too creeped out and she doesn't want to stop before home, but she agrees to check out the cabins. When they reach the parking lot, Alec is happy to see many vehicles parked there. They walk the path to the cabins and enter to see a dining area where leftover food is still on the plates. The dining area is decorated rather old fashioned and they go upstairs to find the landlord. There, we see the landlord is making up beds in the first floor room, where some luggage is still laying around. He spots the couple and introduces himself. He's a creepy looking fellow who is very well disheveled. The landlord shows them a room and starts up some conversation with Alec. He tells Alec that he has owned the cabins for many decades and he gets rather large numbers of visitors. As he's talking, Nora cuts him out. Seeing this, the guy gets offended and leaves the couple alone. When the night falls, Nora and Alec go to sleep, then a man in a sheep mask crawls out from underneath their bed and stares at the couple. The next day, Nora wakes up in a cage, lying in the yard of some buildings. She gets shocked, and she starts to cry for help. She picks up a small stone and tries to break the cage lock, but two masked men come there with a cylinder in their hands. They pour some liquid on Nora, and she passes out. After that, she wakes up to see that she's tied in a chair, a woman who's also wearing an animal mask injects something in her genitals with a huge syringe. Nora is screaming at this point, but the woman says nothing and leaves. The day passes by and after some time, the masked men return and silently transport Nora in a cage to a barn. While she's being transported, 
Nora sees that the place has many people wearing masks and going around doing some normal routine chores. This place looks like a large farm with different workers doing their farm duties. She also sees an unclothed man who is tied to a meat hook while a masked man is butchering him. Nora is put in stables and left there. The masked men go into a shed where many unclothed men are sitting inside cages. Alec is also there, and she sees the masked men hitting two of the caged men with a hammer. He starts screaming, and the masked men knock him out too. Then we see the masked men come and take them to a building where they are butchering these men. He takes some of the severed limbs from that place and brings them to another building. He also buys another guy from some masked man. During all of this, not even a single masked person makes a noise. They are all very still silent. Then a bell rings, and one of the masked men goes to meet the landlord of the cabins, who seems to own the farm. There, the landlord gives directions to the masked man to make food for at least 80 people. He even visits the kitchen, where masked people are using human flesh to make pies and lasagna. Then, he asks the masked workers to fetch milk from the dairy. The dairy is a place where they extract breast milk from tied up women. As the masked man goes there, he hears a baby crying. He takes the infant out of the hands of a woman who's tied up in a cage. After that, he weighs the baby and then kills it. At this moment, it's evident that the landlord uses this place to farm meat and milk from human victims. The women are crying inside the dairy when Andrew comes there. He talks to a crying woman who screams at him. Andrew loses it and he stabs the woman with a stick and runs away. Nora, on the other hand, finds a woman in the cell next to hers. After some time, the woman tells Nora that this place uses women to get milk. The woman explains how she can't produce milk anymore, so she'll be killed soon. There's another girl there, and she's crying. Her name is Ashley. Nora tells her that she will get them out of there. Back at the farm, the masked men are looking for Andrew. They catch him while he's feeding leaves to severed human heads. Then, they take him to the landlord, who is getting the feast ready for the wedding. He punishes Andrew by making him do the chores while he gives orders to the masked men to kill the woman who can't give milk anymore. The masked men enter the stables and tie the woman up. They slice her throat and gut her in front of Nora's eyes. They then take the dead woman's organs and leave. Nora is having a breakdown after watching this brutality when Alec enters the barn. He is clearly wounded, but he takes Nora and runs. The couple runs from one building to the other, but the masked men are everywhere. They eventually hide in a church that also has masks on the walls. As they are hiding, a masked man is praying inside the church. He spots the couple and they run away. As they're running, Alec's leg is caught in a trap. He can't move anymore and Nora leaves him and runs. After that, the masked men catch up to Alec and crush his head with a big rock. Nora sees all of this and runs for her life. She reaches the shed where the men are caged. A man there tells her that there's a bus there that she can use to run. He tells her the place where she can find the keys to the bus. The masked men catch up to Nora, and she starts running again. She gets to a car park where another masked man is parking the vehicles of the victims. She hits the man in the head and gets inside the vehicle. It starts moving, but after only a few hundred yards, the car runs out of fuel. Nora decides to run for the bus. She manages to free Ashley, and they both go to the house to get the bus keys as they get inside the bus and start it. Ashley turns to see many masked men sitting in the bus seats. At the end, Nora and Ashley stage like roast pigs on a dining table, surrounded by all the masked men. Well, this movie is disturbing, but it also reveals the horrific truth about the meat and dairy industry and how animals are treated in the farm so horribly. However, little is presented to make us care about Nora and Alec. We have no idea why they are on the road. Alec blows Nora's opinions off, on and on, and these are just the folks we are stuck with most of the time. Thank you for watching everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more upcoming movie time recap videos. See you next time. Also, don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. Till then, be safe and stay well.